today we have an SMC Oscar 1. I can't say I recall these having a 3 pin connection on the back. So I wonder if that's been altered. So there were South Midlands Communications uh, who were SMC. SMC were Yesu Ham Radio and Business Radio at the time. And this radio belongs to one of our Bolt customers whose name is also Richard. So there's me who's Richard, there's Mr. Chippy who's Richard, and this Bolt trade customer who is also Richard. They unusually have a five pin DIN, and this radio comes with its original mic. So that's a nice thing. It doesn't come with original side screws for mounting. And I'll try and remember to put those back with it. And we will open it up. Unfortunately, when I open it up, it's got an extra board going to where the crystal should be. And I have a sneaking suspicion that someone has turned this into an 80 channel set, so that will have to come out as it isn't legal to do that. We need to turn it back into how it came out of the factory as a 2781 40 channel set. I wouldn't be surprised if they've not used the high low power switch there to effect that naughtiness. So I'm just going to power that up and we'll have a look at what our frequency counter says. So I've got it powered up on channel 20 and we should therefore be 27.79125 27.79102 so it's like that frequency that's fine so what happens when we press that? absolutely nothing You just don't know what they've done, do you? This is the, this is the trouble. No idea. Twenty-seven seven nine one out. Just in case of turn the delta tune can switch into something. No, it's not there. Let's see whether it transmits on channel. 40. No, it doesn't. Anyway, whatever's happened, it doesn't work. So out it comes, and I have a lovely waiting builder's skip in the front. Okay, so that's got rid of the uh, whatever. Uh, it seems to be. It doesn't seem to be an 80 channel. Bodge. It looks to me like some kind of frequency shift to make the whole thing go off frequency. I don't get it. Anyway, it's gone. I will have to restore the wiring to the back of the um, attenuator switch to make the high-low power work. But let's hope now, when I switch it on, we've got a normal arrangement. Yeah. Put it on channel 20. And it's still it's twenty seven seven nine one zero three. It should be one two five. So we'll start by tuning up the yeah, transmitter, and um, actually I'll run through the VCO with you. What we'll do, we'll dig out the Rotel two forty service manual. Um, I have got the instruction book for that because we have once bought one new, and this was um, scanned, and we've produced. We've got the layout the circuit, the block diagram and the uh, the big layout so that's uh, that's great I don't see many um, Cybernet 134's, not sure why that is but I've been seeing quite a few because this particular customer I think has brought about a dozen in, uh, obviously they're not going to be all on video because we've covered them uh, long ago like the Rotel 240, so I'm going to go and uh, dig out the Rotel 240 service manual and then I'll just run through the VCO with you Okay, I've just been filling my uh, 
enchanting, so I know what I'm doing, which makes a change. So, let's see what this is doing. We're going to transmit. Oh, we're going to do the VCO, aren't we? That's where we got to. I had lunch in between. On a half-finished kitchen, because the builders have had to leave with the coronavirus situation. So we've got a... We've got a kitchen sink with cold running water and the washing machine and dishwasher are installed. Little more. Right. Um, so what we need to do is the test point for the VCO is the junction between resistor 11 and resistor 4. And that is resistor 11 down there and there's resistor 4 just there let's just zoom in on that so that's the test point there connect that to ground switch the radio on it is on We select channel 40 on the radio, channel 40 we have, and what we're looking for on receive is at that test point we are expecting 4 volts. And what we have... You don't normally have to do VCO unless you definitely know it's out of lock. But with this radio having been messed with, you just don't know what somebody's done. So we're just going to... I'm, I, it's not like that. I'm going to go on to... On to there. So we've got 4.12. I'll just zoom out so you can actually see the meter. So we've got 4.12. So we'll just do as it says and get ourselves 4 volts by adjusting coil 1 I should be using a plastic tool so it's not ideal how about that 3.99 and then it says we need to go into transmit and we should also have 4 volts well we've got 3.88 so it's just a trimmer capacitor TC1 there. How about that? That'll do nicely. And then it says channel 1 and staying on transmit we should have between 1.8 and 2.5 volts. We've got 2.32. And then go to receive, and we should have between 1.9 and 2.5 volts. And we've got 2.22. So the VSO is set. It didn't need adjusting, but it could have done because of what it, with it having been messed with. So that's now set. So we'll move on to the transmitter. Let's see what it's doing um, power wise. Well, I'm on. The, I'll switch to the other camera, then you can see this with me. So we're going to start with coil one, coil two, coil three. So on the three volts range of this instrument it's full scale deflection so we know it's more than 3 watts so that would be 4 watts just there so it's doing it's doing spot on 3 so we might be able to improve on that so we'll do transformer 2 
Transformer 3. Transformer 4. So that's those optimised. Then we need to move on to L4, 8 and 9. So that's L4, L8 and L9. So we have a green plastic tool for that. L4, so we're now at 4.2 watts. L4. 3-ish 4.6-ish now what you have to do is to adjust coil 4 this, to get it balanced between the channels because you can end up with 5 watts on channel 1 and 3 watts on channel 40 the plan is to adjust L4 clockwise for 4.4 volts so that will be detuning it so we get to 4.4 clockwise to 4.4 that's there and then we need to turn L9 anti-clockwise to get to the required power which is 4 watts so now anti-clockwise to get to 4 Now I'm going to check on channel one and forty because we did that on twenty. That it's something like the same. So channel one, four watts. Channel forty, four watts. Brilliant. So that's that tune. Now, a uh, deviation. Let's look at that. So we're looking at one point five. Wallow. So it's a bit low, definitely a bit low on this. So we need to set the one on its side. This is awkward to get at. To maximum. Okay, then we need to set RV2 to 2.2. Sorry, we need to set it to 2.5. And then we need to set the one on its which we started with to 2.2. Okay. So now wallow wallow one, two, testing, wallow. There uh, we are, we're spot on. So it kind of balances the um, the internal mic gain with the, with the sensitivity. I'm just looking at the controls on the radio. So we've got on-off volume and squelch concentric. And then we've got uh, delta tune and channel nine. Okay, I'm just checking there wasn't some hidden mic gain. So that's, uh, that's that. Now the RF meter if we can see it. I don't think that's lighting up, so we've got to address that as well. So, how many pairs of glasses am I going to have to put on to see that?
Wow. Uh, I'll try and zoom in on that. So, four watts, and it's banging over. Anyway, the adjustment for the RF meter is RV4, which is there. So, so that is three. So it's between the three and five. There is a three and a five there. So there we go. Now that concludes the transmitter, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to sort that RF attenuator switch out because I want to set that up. Uh, because the adjustment for that is, is, uh, is there at the back. So I've got a trick up my sleeve to save me a lot of faffing about with circuit diagrams. Because we've got an SMC Oscar one in stock here. So we're going to take the lids off that and just see which wires go where. So here's our identical one. And we've got... It's a double pulse switch but only... But only one pole's used. Let's see whether we can... See, we've got blue, grey, and orange with a white tracer. Blue, grey, and orange with a white tracer. So, what have we got here? <laughs> we've got blue, grey. Those two are soldered together and white. Well, chances are that the blue and the grey just need popping across to there. It's presumably is a different. Uh, they've used a different colour wire on this one. Right, I'll just do that. So when I actually connected that up, we introduced a short circuit in one of the switch positions. The white wire turned out to go to the positive power so I found we've got the orange wire tucked into the wiring harness back here so it wasn't that it was a different color so we've got the blue the gray and the orange connected as in my set and what we'll now do is set up the attenuator Go back to that other camera. There we go, and we're in the three watt scale, and it's doing about uh, 50 milliwatts. So it's adjusting RV4. It's RV4. No, RV5, which is there. 400 milliwatts. There we go. That's half a watt. That's 0.4. So we've now got on the attenuator scale with the attenuator on, and then with it off, we go to the full scale deflection, which of course is 4 watts. So that covers the transmitter. Uh, at the moment I'm trying to put both transmit and receive on the same videos um, and the repairs as well. I want them to run less than half an hour but I wanted to get through a few more sets while we've got this coronavirus situation because people are sending radios in in droves uh, uh, just in case phone networks go down. So that's why we're pushing on with a few of these. So. Um, I'll just put my set back together and 
tell you what, this uh, set of mine isn't as smart as the customers. There we are. Mind you, they're all 38, 39 years old now, aren't they? Well, I'll pause the video and then we'll move on to the receive side. There was just one thing, wasn't there? I never set the frequency, so it's uh, just do that while we're still in transmit. I'll put the camera onto the frequency counter. 27.7. Oh, we're on the channel 40. Channel 20. 27. 79125. So, it's the red trimmer down there next to the crystal, which I had to move off that naughty board. I've actually turned it the right way for once. There we go. That'll do nicely. 279126. So now we've got the other camera on the Synad meter and we'll move on to the receiver. So we'll make sure 2779125 is in the signal generator. Helps if we switch it on. So we'll adjust the signal generator so that we've got three decibels. And it's transformer five, transformer six where fitted, transformer seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And there's the detector. Tell you what, we'll start with the detector. Transformer twelve. I'm just looking for maximum amplitude on the oscilloscope. I'll put an S9 signal in. There we go. So we'll start with transformer five. It wasn't a transformer six, so it's transformer seven. Transformer 8. Transformer 9. To be honest, it doesn't it doesn't need adjusting at all, this it's spot on. Is it funny how the He's had that naughty modification. He had the transmitter was quite a bit out, and the receive spot on. And finally, we've got to try and find transformer eleven, which is hiding under the wiring there. It's working beautifully. That's 0 0.1 of a microvolt. That's 3.3 of a microvolt. Fantastic. Well, that was easy. So next, we need to set the S-meter up. I may as well lose that camera now. <laughs> We're back to this microscopic meter, aren't we?
So, can I see? Can't see a thing. Do you know what? He's spot on the nine. That that is spot on the nine. But just to demonstrate, it's adjustment. The S meter is down there at the bottom, which on the radio is that one there. So, we, as you can, you'll hopefully be able to see that we can make it more, which will be plus 30 or less. And the S9 point, I'll just see, is there. Now we need to do the squelch. So turn the signal generator off and put squelch to threshold. Turn the generator on. See when it comes in comes in at one microvolt, that's fine. Turn the squelch to full and see when it comes in now. Comes in at S9. That's absolutely ideal. Works just how you want it to. You know what? I bet this radio's got no noise on. Do you remember we had trouble with noise on the previous one? Let's turn the volume up. Now there's no internally generated noise at all. So to adjust the squelch, and we're not going to because it's spot on, it is RV1. And RV1 is the preset just there. So there we go, we're all done. I'll put the lid on it and I will just plug the aerial in and then at the point when Mr Chippy is available we will do a range test on it on our usual route. And so to conclude we'll put it together, put a new meter lamp in there if you can actually see that. So don't expect there's anybody around on the aerial well it's exceptionally quiet nineteen a quick rig check yeah right well there you go anyway we'll do an on the air test with that uh, when Mr. Chip is available and that concludes the SMC Oscar 1 a 1981 Sabinet 134 set and it works absolutely beautifully thank you for watching